Hi there, I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Iskovitz with a look at your tropical outlook here for the Sunday. You know, after going about seven weeks with little to no activity in the Atlantic, look at this, things are really starting to come alive. Nothing urgent for us here along the Texas Gulf Coast, but uh, yeah, things are definitely starting to get active. So we got a couple of things not really too much to worry about. Uh, one uh, tropical wave in the far eastern Atlantic that has about a 20% chance for developing one out here in the middle of the Atlantic that we're not really too concerned about. The uh, area that has the highest likelihood for developing is right here in that to what you would call the main development region right here in the central Atlantic Ocean, and that's going to be moving uh, toward the east coast potentially of the United States has a very high likelihood for development. We'll zoom in on that one here in a moment. One that we'll be paying closest attention to, though, in Texas is what may be forming here. And I say maybe because uh, the GFS model has been showing it consistently. The other models not at all. But we're actually looking at this tropical wave here, potentially getting a little stronger as it gets closer to the Yucatan. By the way, all afternoon we've had a big flare up here in the Gulf of Mexico, but I took a close look at it. The winds and the pressure, the pressure hasn't been dropping, so probably going to go away as we head into the overnight hours. In fact, you can see those uh, colors actually uh, lightening a little bit. All right, here in the Central Caribbean, definitely not impressive right now, but the tropical wave is right around here and should be drifting its way towards Central America, and that's the one that we'll keep a very close eye on. Uh, heading into this work week and school week out here in the central Atlantic. This system yeah, it doesn't look too impressive right now, but it's in a highly favored area this time of the year for development. And here is a look at your spaghetti model plot, all basically pointing over here by the Bahamas or Turks and Caicos Islands in five days. So long, long time to watch this one as well. And I finally want to leave you with this. This is the GFS computer model outlook. So GFS is global forecast system. That's our American computer model. And it's one that's been consistently showing some development here in the Caribbean and then potentially moving toward the Yucatan and possibly uh, affecting us, you know, on the Gulf Coast, not necessarily here in uh, the Houston area per se, but could make its way over here uh, near Cancun coming up around Thursday and Friday. That's something that we're going to be watching for you through the week. So, of course, we will have daily updates for you here on our YouTube channel and on Fox26Houston.com.